Hi, welcome to Play and Learn at Home. This is a program to show parents how to make some fun activities for their children. It's geared towards ages zero to three. Um, I will show you some adaptations of things that you can do for kind of that variety of age ranges. Though of course, older kids have fun with a lot of these too. Um, today we're gonna do shaving cream play. So you've got my shaving cream. So I've got some different things uh, to set this up. So I use wax paper. You want to get something to put down on your surface, whether that's the table, the floor, um, outside. You could use a uh, plastic tablecloth. You could use um, wax paper like me. You could even, uh, I mean, you can use anything that would basically be slick and easy to clean up. Uh, you can put your shaving cream directly onto your surface, though I personally like having another container, something that kind of has edges to do the shaving cream play. Um, so I've got a pan. You can use a pan, you can use a tub, you could even use muffin tins and do it inside the different muffin tins. Whatever works for you. I've got things to interact with the shaving cream. So this might depend on how old your children are. I've got cookie cutters. Um, so I've got some shapes, I've got a duck, here's a circle, I've got a heart. If you've got some older kids, like maybe um, 18 months plus or 24 months plus, you could do some letters. I've got some W, a P, I've got a spoon and a fork. Work on gripping those fine letter skills. I've got a straw. And you can really pick all sorts of things to interact with these. I would say no small pieces for your little babies, nothing we can put in their mouth. Um, and this is a play that you probably want to monitor, especially if you have very young ones, because again, this might go in their mouth. It's not going to kill them, but it's not going to taste great. Um, now I have two shaving creams here. You can buy whatever shaving cream you want. I just bought the cheapest. You kind of want this foam kind. Um, this works the best because of the texture uh, and it's the easiest to clean up. So you're going to start by doing a little dollop, a big dollop maybe, into your play. You would want to start small, so you can always add more. Um, if you covered this whole thing in shaving cream, that's going to get messy really fast. This whole thing is messy, but it goes really quick. And again, you can always add more. If you have a child in a high chair, this can go right in their high chair. Um, and the first thing I would do is just let them explore, let them pick up things, let them stick their hands in it. It's going to get on their clothes. Let them play. You can scoop. And while they're playing, you can ask some interactive questions, things like, uh, what does it feel like? Is it soft? Is it heavy? Um, is it, if it's old, it's solid, gas, liquid? You can talk about what those things mean. Playing with sensory things like this, like shaving cream, uh, builds neurons in your child's heads and it helps them learn to problem solve, learn, helps them learn how to categorize the world and compare and contrast. And those are all skill sets we need as we're growing up and as we're adults. So again, if the older your child, so they're, if they're more towards that 24 to 36 months, um, ask any things, ask them, can you make a duck out of your foam? Let them find the duck, put it in. You can ask them, which shape is blue? So work your colors in there. If you, if you don't always choose colors, go with something colorful. That helps categorize things as well. Again, you can add more shaving cream. Encourage them to stick their hands in it. Get messy. Um, let them make handprints. You know, let them pretend to wash their hands. It's a good time for that. Let them practice. They can see how it gets everywhere. And you can ask them, oh, when we wash our hands, does it look like this? Uh, all different things. You can ask them which thing scoops. So, you know, if they have cookie cutters and a fork and a straw, which item would you scoop with? That's right, the spoon. And let them, can you practice scooping all of your shaving cream from one side to another? And that's gonna, not only does that work those brain skills for problem solving, it builds vocabulary, uh, which is very important when children start to read because knowing vocabulary makes, sets you up for success. It also requires some fine motor skills, gripping a spoon, those five minutes. Those, if you want your children to be doc or to be surgeons when they grow up, or anything that requires fine motor skills, a mechanic, they need that. And have them scoop. And they have to problem solve. You need a little force because it's very lightweight, like that. You can also add adaptations to this by adding other messy 
Um, things besides just shaving cream, you could add gel. You could, like hair gel, um, you could do shampoo or conditioner, things that have scents to them. Uh, and you can ask them, what does it feel like? You know, what does, what is the, di what is the difference between them? Uh, you can ask them about color, you can ask them actually how it feels. Uh, and those are all things that you can kind of use to elevate your play. The other thing you can do, if you want a little less messy, you can put your shaving cream inside a bag. Now my hands are messy, so this bag is gonna get messy but squirt some in there you don't want to fill the whole bag you want room for it to move and you can do a couple things that you could just give them the bag um you kind of maybe want to get the air out of it a little bit more and you could add food coloring to it you could add glitter you could add a little um you could add this, if i have a little bag but if you had a bigger bag you could add you could add the spoon or the um heart shape now i will say kids often smack these bags so it if you want it not to burst open, put some tape on the top. You could tape this to a window and let them look through it. Let them smush it. So again, if you have a kid in a high chair or uh, maybe like a, one of those little seats that uh, they sit in when they're first graduating to a chair, put it in front of them. Let them ask them, what does it feel like? Another adaptation kind of for your older age range, you could have them trace letters. So underneath your um, wax paper, you can get a regular piece of paper, get a Sharpie or a marker that's dark colored and trace out big old letters and let them take the shaving cream and chase the letters. Or and like just put the shaving cream right on top of the wax paper and just have them use their fingers or their straws or the outlines of their spoons, whatever, whatever you have in your house and works for you. Um, you could have them trace letters. You could have them, if they're even older, uh, you know, trace words. You can have them do all sorts of things. You can even have, you know, what does this remind you of? Clouds? Does it remind you of rain? No. Does it remind you of snow? And how is it similar to snow? How is it different? Those are all types of things that you can do while interacting with your child. Uh, make sure you download the instructions to go along with this. It has kind of all the materials and suggestions. Thank you for watching and enjoy some messy shaving cream play. Bye.